Good morning my lovelies and welcome back to another tutorial. If you're a new subscriber to my channel, welcome to the family and thank you for being here. It is pretty early in the morning and I wanted to do a makeup video for you guys. Last week was so busy, I just had to take care of so much. But anyway, to tune into this look, get your coffee and let's get to work. So whenever I'm starting my morning, I need a cup of coffee to start my day. And I normally like watch a little cartoon or a TV, you know, just to feel a little, you know, you know, I feel like someone is there awake with me, but even though my husband and my son is still sleeping. So right now I'm taking the P. Louise base and my two side Luxie brush and I'm just plastering that shade base in the number five all over my eyelids and as you can see i am bringing it all the way up to my brow bone where i carve out my brows because i'm going to be going in with you know bright colors and lighter colors and darker shade colors so i want those transitional colors to stand out Using the fluffy side of my Luxie two-sided brush, I'm dipping my brush into the shade color called Cinnamon, which is more like a brownish burgundy shade, which is so pretty, guys. And the palette that I'm using is the Essential Violet Voss Pro Siri Palette, which the palette is absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. The only thing I can say is that when you're using the lighter shade color, you want to go stippling motion. You don't want to, like you know, do window wiper motion or like blend it because you're not going to see that full pigmented shade of the color, vice versa than the darker shade colors or the more vibrant shade colors. So as you see right, right now, I'm just working that cinnamon color on the outer V of my eyelids and I'm going to bring it up. For my crease, I want the colors to stand out more, so I'm using a Amuse brush G27, dipping back into the shade called Cinnamon from the Essential Violet Voss Pro Siri Palette. And as you can see, I'm just using the tip of the brush and creating more depth on my crease. I'm not going above it, just on the crease area. And this brush, I have it, I had it for about 10 years so far. And like I always say, guys, if you take care of your brushes, your brushes will take care of you. And I'm so anal when it comes to my makeup brushes. Taking a fluffy brush that I got off of AliExpress, I'm dipping my brush into the shade color called Terracotta. And this brush is more like a dual fiber brush. You can use it wet and dry, guys. So it's like a cream base or just eyeshadows. You can use it either way and I'm using that terracotta shade color as my transitional color above my crease and on my brow bone I am gonna blend it in with cinnamon just to diffuse the harsh line around the areas and just give it a nice you know beautiful transitional color just making sure everything is diffused out and blended perfectly So I went back in with my Luxie two-sided brush and as you can see I'm using the flat shader part of the brush and I'm using the P. Louise base in the number three and as you can see I'm just stippling that base all over my lid. I'm not doing a cut crease. I'm kind of like creating just a little almond shape but I'm not doing anything sharp or precise because that's not the look I'm going for. It's pretty early, so I just want to knock out this makeup tutorial. But I want to make sure that it looks nice and neat. This is like a friendly, kind makeup tutorial. So like, for instance, if you're going out later on at night or if you're going out for lunch or brunch, this is a goatee look. Flipping my brush back over to the fluffy side and I'm just using the leftover from the brush which was from the Essential Violet Voss palette in the shade color in the shade color called Cinnamon and I'm just diffusing that shade on my lid and just bringing everything together and just blending it nicely just diffusing the shade colors. Going back in with my same Luxie two-sided brush, and I've been using this brush for this whole tutorial, which is pretty amazing. I didn't have to go in with too many brushes. And I'm using the flat shader brush, going in with the MAC Cosmetics Loose Pigment called Frost. And it's like a 
like a mm, like it has so many iridescent shade colors mm -hmm. to it like I have a little bit of purple I have a little bit of blue I have a little pink mm -hmm. have a little gold have a little silver to it and it's so pretty I did not wet it but I, right now I'm just packing it on because eventually after when I'm done with this tutorial I have to start another one so I'm not going too crazy because I'm not going out with this makeup it's pretty early in the morning about six o'clock so I wanted to get this tutorial done and out the way so I can start the next one For foundation, I'm using my Makeup Revolution in F15 foundation using my dual fiber brush from MAC Cosmetics. And I believe it's a smaller one to the 187, which all dual fiber brush I absolutely love. And because I'm going for more like a soft, luminous finish, even though this foundation is a full coverage to matte finish, I still want a soft look. I don't want my makeup to look absolutely heavy. I have my skin in control, so I just want a nice dewy finish to my foundation. I absolutely love how this foundation looks on my skin. The only thing I can say is just oxidize a bit you know to a darker darker shade look it looks a little bit grayish on the tone but you know going outside the color looks amazing on my skin it's just videotaping it just looks so weird so i had to go in with two shade colors just to highlight just to get back color to my skin i didn't want to look like a corpse if you know what i mean To highlight and contour my face, I'm using F18 Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick. And then I'm going to go on with my all-time favorite, old-time favorite concealer from MAC Cosmetics, Pro Longwear in NC50. That's one of my favorite shade colors to use to highlight my face. Now, guys, it's all about the blending technique, taking your time and blending. Even though I'm recording this tutorial, you guys, I spent at least... Hmm, 10 minutes blending my blending in my concealer to make sure that I have enough coverage and highlight within my t-zone and then to contour to make sure I have bone structure to make sure that everything is blended around my ears around my neck behind my ears because I have discoloration and if you're a female who have discoloration or not you want to make sure that everything is blended out perfectly seamlessly it looks like butter you don't want to go outside with you know a strong contour face you want to make sure everything looks nice and smooth So I did, I did went back in with another concealer, which is one of my favorites from Juvia's Place Concealer in, in the shade, I believe it's number 9 or 10. Well, no, it's number 9 because number 10 is way lighter. And just to give more highlights within my T-zone, using that same E8 brush from Morphe. Now, guys, I have to plead the fifth to you guys. When contour and highlighting your face and doing foundation and eyeshadow, it is a workout, honey. It is a real workout. And I kid you not, I had to take a little break and rest my right hand because I rely on my right hand for everything. Even though they say it's good to practice with your left hand, let, you know, both hands do the job. Even if it's not writing, but, you know, let most of your left hands do most of the job as well to, like, you know, this foundation or concealer just taking your time and just blending so i'm gonna do that next time yes indeed it is time for some lashes guys <laughs> i'm going with my aliexpress lashes and 25 millimeter long in the 394 which is my favorite lashes guys it is my favorite it is my favorite so I did cut out some footage for you guys um, because I'm trying to grow my subscribers. So until I get more subscribers, I'm going to request for extended time to do more videos. Um, I feel like that's the best thing to do because if I extend my videos and I do appreciate that I am getting viewers and I'm getting supporters that are watching my videos, I appreciate you guys to the fullest. God knows I appreciate you guys. But I need a, a bit more, you know, viewers in order to extend 
my watch time for you guys so at least I can show you more techniques. Now, if you want me to extend um, more time, I need you guys, my family, my supporters to help me to share these videos with other viewers, um, with friends and family and, you know, have them subscribe and watch these videos so that I can get extended time so I can do more. I can play with more time because the only time that I get to record these videos is only 15 minutes and that's the only thing they're giving me. So I was playing with my lighting to my phone because I don't know, it was looking a bit frizzy, a little dingy and I wasn't happy with it. So I was playing with it. I'm going with my Big Eagle Tarte Mascara and I'm just giving my bottom lashes a bit of a quote. So it's all about the lips. Pucker up, honey. <laughs> oh God, that is such, that's so funny. If you haven't watched the Frog and the Princess, honey, you gotta watch that. That has become my all time favorite Disney movie the princess and the frog even though they had to give us that title we could have been you know cinderella but you know what hey it is what it is but anyway i'm using my lip liner from my cosmetic called night moth and it's a beautiful prolonged wear lip liner and then i went in with a nude lipstick called arrowhead and i'm just blending using my 217 brush from my cosmetics and talking to my husband at the same time <laughs> i hope you guys are not getting tired of me using a lip gloss all the time i just feel like you know when i was going to work it gave me a different look when going with matte lipsticks but i feel like on camera i feel like it's not enough i need a bit more gloss i need my lips to look in pow blossoming <laughs> you know i need to look good Using the same E8 brush from Morphe, I'm highlighting myself with the Cotton Candy Highlighter from Stephen London. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Stephen London, and I'm just highlighting my nose and the high parts of my cheekbone. I really, really love this highlighter, guys. If you don't have it at home, please go to boxycharm.com i believe they still have the highlighter in stock go get yours so i realized that when i wake up a bit early my makeup i get more time to myself even though i feel like i'm rushing because my son does wake up minutes to eight nine o'clock for a bottle and i do take my time to figure out the looks that i'm going for sometime with me i feel like i have an agenda of what i want and then it takes a completely different turn when it comes out looking like hell on earth. So that's just me. I just go as the wind blows me when I'm doing these tutorial. And I'm happy the way how this makeup tutorial came out. This is the final look. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, for the final piece, don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to my channel. Please sum this video up because YouTube will be sharing this video viral to other viewers. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this video. God bless and I love you guys. Bye.